Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our fourth video in the series How Big Is Our Universe? Now we're going to go a little bit further up, and we're going to talk about our local neighborhood of galaxies. Remember, we live in a galaxy. Here it is, the Milky Way galaxy. And in a previous video, we discussed how big our Milky Way galaxy is. It was roughly 100,000 light years across, which meant that light would take 100,000 years to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other end of the galaxy at the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. But actually, our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, is actually a part of a family of galaxies. We call it the local group of galaxies. And the local group of galaxies kind of goes out in a spherical shell, basically about 3 million light years away from us. So if we start from our own galaxy, and we look in all different directions, about 3, 4, 5 million light years away from here, you will find that you find a bunch of other galaxies. Two of them are very large, and the other ones are kind of what we would call dwarf galaxies. So not all galaxies are, are as big as the one we live in. There are quite a few of those as well, but some of them are rather small. In our own local group of galaxies, quite a few of them are relatively small. They're called dwarf galaxies, and they, they exist in two different types. We'll talk about it in just a moment. But there's a total of about 40, 54 galaxies. Now, we keep finding more and more of them. Uh, they're not always easy to find because sometimes they hide behind dust clouds and so forth, so they're hard to find. But we've discovered up to now about 54 galaxies that are part of our own little neighborhood of galaxies in the universe. Now, if we draw a disk with a radius of 3 million light years, we find that in one direction, fairly near to that disk, we find the Andromeda galaxy and what we call Triangulum. All three, the Milky Way galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy, and M33 or Triangulum, are what we call um, spiral galaxies. Spiral galaxies have like a central bulge that are very dense with stars and then spiral arms that kind of emanate away from the center of the galaxy that of course are populated with a lot of stars and nebulas and so forth and they are typically kind of pancake shaped so here we're taking a look at one that's head-on the bulge is kind of like this and then we have kind of pancake shaped region filled with stars like that. And so the three big galaxies are like that. They're called spiral galaxies. The other galaxies, like the two companion galaxies uh, up above from us, which is the, they're called the Magellanic Clouds, they're called irregular galaxies. They're kind of like a, a group of galaxies that kind of looks like this, filled with billions and billions of stars, but doesn't have any particular shape to it. So there's a couple of those up here, and then some additional uh, minor galaxies. They're called uh, uh, elliptical galaxies, which kind of like don't have the spiral arms. They're, they're kind of like the bulge of the spiral galaxies by themselves without any of the spiral arms emanating from that. And there's a whole bunch of those. Matter of fact, a large number of these are what we call either the um, spiral galaxies or the irregular galaxies. And the way we name them, when, uh, when you look in a certain direction of a constellation and the galaxy in our group is in that direction, we tend to name that dwarf galaxy after the constellation, like Tucane, Phoenix, Cetus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pegasus. So when you look in the direction of those constellations and you see those dwarf galaxies in our group, we tend to name them after them. So on the other, t other side, we have Antilla, we have Sextons, A and B. So those are pretty far away. They're kind of in the far uh, edges of our little mini group here. And uh, those, I believe, are about 4.6 million light years away. So you can see it if you dry, kind of draw a sphere with a radius of about, mm, I'd say about four, four and a half light years, a million light years, not light years, but a million light years, you contain just about all of these 54 galaxies. And that's our no local neighborhood. Chances to ever travel to one of those galaxies, pretty nil. Matter of fact, chances even to ever travel to the nearest star in our own galaxy is almost next to impossible. Our technology is going to have to advance tremendously for us to even begin to think about traveling to the next near star, let alone travel on our galaxy, let alone travel to one of our near neighbor galaxies. Remember, the distance from the Milky Way to Andromeda is about 2.2 million light years. 2.2 million light years. And the distance from us to the Triangulum is more like about 2.6 million light years. And so these distances are absolutely enormous. And definitely um, we'll never be able to get there. Just imagine that light traveling at the speed of light, you would have to be traveling for 2.2 million years just to get to Andromeda, and more than that, just to get to Triangulum. So absolutely enormous distances. But that gives you kind of a feel 
for what our universe is like. But our universe is filled with these clusters. They call them clusters of galaxies. And they're all over the place. Everywhere we look, in the far reaches of the universe, in all directions, we see these types of clusters of galaxies. And matter of fact, what we found was that the clusters tend to cluster together in what we call superclusters. And that's the topic of our next video.